Hey guys, Sophia here from My Great Challenge. Welcome back to my channel. Yes, it's another DIY project. Actually, I have three projects I need to go through this summer. So I'm going to tell you what they are. Obviously, this one is one of the three. I am redoing the front door. I'm completely stripping it, sanding it, painting it, um, changing the locks, you name it. I'm going to make it look nice because it's kind of grungy right now. You'll see in a minute. The second project is going to come up after that, probably in three weeks or so. I'm going to restore the garage doors. Uh, the bottom part is kind of rotted out. I got to change the wood. Same thing, strip it, paint it, change the hardware. And then, right before the end of the summer, around the end of August, beginning of September, I absolutely must reseal the black top in the driveway. We have cracks from many, many, many winters ago. And if it's sustained one more winter with those cracks, we're going to end up having potholes. So, um, yeah, it's never ending <laughs> and I'm loving it. I actually enjoy, well, you know that, I enjoy doing this type of project. So, without further ado, I'm going up front. Today is the 3rd of July. I have a three-day weekend. It's perfect to do this project. Why? Day one, well, first I got to remove the door. Okay, and you got to put it back at the end of the day, otherwise you ain't got no front door. Okay, so day one I'm stripping, day two I will be sanding and painting, and day three I'm putting on the hardware and um, I have to clean out the decorative pieces on it, uh, the brass stuff. So um, it's perfect, so I have today, tomorrow and Sunday, and in between I'll probably go to a pool, finally. Um, I'm actually looking forward to that. Yes, I am. Um, so that's that. Uh, what else do I want to say? That's about it. So let's go look at the door. I'm going to show you what I'm doing. Yes, be prepared. It's an old busted door. It's the original door to the house. The house was built in 1929. Um, the paint is peeling. Um, the hardware is old. The decorative pieces, the knocker, are all tarnished. It's a mess, but I'm going to make it brand new or summer brand new. So we are in uh, what I call the Sally port. This is the inside part of my door um, and yes it's pretty pathetic so all of this is going to get repainted and then this is the male slot. I'm going to keep the decorative piece I'm going to show you in a second that's on the other side but this I come down and put some yeah duct tape um, because the wind was going through and it was getting really cold. So all of this um, will be painted. I don't know if I need to strip the back, but these here are the screws and one is missing uh, that are holding the knocker. And I'm replacing, I'm keeping this one, but I'm replacing this one because it's an old key and we only have one. And here's the front door from the outside. So I don't know if this is the original color. I'm actually very interested in finding out how many different layers of paints are on it but you can tell that obviously it's been chipped i really really need to clean it up so this i'm keeping um this is going to be removed and polished but when i do the back i will condemn it because it's not big enough for mail and quite frankly the wind and the cold is not too cold in the winter um this needs to be done as well this piece here I'm gonna keep because that's an original. This will be changed. It's a weird key that has like a bump in it. I don't know how old that particular um, knob is, but that's gonna get changed. This one I'm keeping. Um, there obviously was an old lock here that's been changed. And this is my old, I think it's the original knocker. See what the screw is missing from the back. So this is gonna have to get removed and I'm gonna have to clean it out as well. So here's the knocker and that's pretty interesting because I've never seen the back of it and it has a whale logo and it says Spain. So I'm gonna take my phone and check that out because I want to know how old this thing is. Well I found out something new today. This is actually from the 50s and it's called a Dickens as in Charles Dickens. Uh, brass knocker so you can see there's still a little bit of the brass here I think I'm gonna be able to clean it out really nicely with some brass so. and now I have to remove this part here 
This one, I don't know if it's original or not. Looks like pretty old screws to me. can't wait to clean it. I think it's gonna look really neat once it's all cleaned out. So now for obvious reason, I'm not gonna be able to remove this yet because I still need to be able to lock my door at night. Um, so I'll strip the whole door with this still on and then when I'm ready to paint, I'll just remove that sand a little bit and, you know, put it back on. Um, yeah, that's the only way I can do this because I don't wanna to have to place this back and forth every single night. Oh, I'm sorry you're backlit. So the next step for me is to actually remove um, the door. And in order to do that, I gotta push the pins up. I'm gonna give you a close up. And I'm gonna do the top, the bottom, and then the middle one. And then I'll be able to dislodge the door and take it out. one pen. Pin number two. And pin number three. So I'm going to work on the front porch and I'll tell you why because uh, it's supposed to rain today and quite frankly, I don't want to be in full sun either. So I have the door on so horses and this is what I'm using to strip the pants. This is called Jasco Professional Strength Semi Pace Premium Paint and Epoxy. Fast 15 minutes, we shall see. I got gloves, I got a uh, bowl to put the uh, product in and some brushes. I said I can actually remove this uh, because it's not getting in the way of the doorknob. So it's been 15 minutes in parts, uh, definitely more than 15 minutes here on this side. It's looking like it's working um, and you can see different colors so it looks to me like if I look here it looks to me like the door was already stripped once um, and then it looked like there was white there was some uh, bright red at some point I'm not sure about any other color we'll try to find out um, but there's definitely more than one coat of paint on that door and Again, I think this is the original door, I'm not sure. So this is the part that's really not fun. Now I gotta scrape it off. And only one of two things is going to happen here. Uh, either the paint is gonna come off or I have to put a second layer of the product, uh, which 
at close range, it really sticks. I have a cardboard here where I'm going to grab the stuff. Oh yes, yeah. so we got red, we got white, and we're definitely going to have a second coat. I see green and I see light gray too. This is the best I could do with just one coat. So I guess I gotta reapply a second time. I hope I don't have to apply a third time. I don't want to sand unless most of the paint is gone because that's gonna be kind of productive. But one look at her, she's oh so fine. I know I've got to make her mine. She's just my kind, can't get her off my mind. When you do a second coat you can see that it's really grabbing way more of the original purple but I'm not seeing much of the white paint uh, well, crackling maybe a little bit so I'm gonna wait a good 15-20 minutes and see what happens I'm hoping I don't need a third coat I can't let her go. Man. I'm just hanging out here on the front porch and waiting. <laughs> In the meantime, here are my hydrangeas. I'm the pretty this year. I got two colors. Even though I put the pH in it, I got pink and blue at the same time and some purple. They look really, really neat. Um, I did a little patch test here. It's coming off much better the second time around and it looked like there was some 1950s pistachio green as an original color I don't know This is definitely a three-day job. Um, what you just saw is two coats, two applications. Guess what? I'm doing a third one um, because I really, really want to do a good job. I really want to bring this back to bare wood or close, as close as possible to bare wood. So I'm going to do a third coat um, and I'll see you when I'm ready to remove it. So I don't know if you can see the area right here, but I started um, removing. I'm sorry about the noise. We have uh, somebody power washing the house next door. Okay, so I'm just going to remove the rest and I'm not going to bare wood, but I'm basically at the point where I reach the very first coat of paint and it looks like it was a cream um, color.
I'm tired. <laughs> it's almost five o'clock in the afternoon. Uh, I am do a great job here, but that's gonna get sanded. I put the door back on because I'm pretty much done for the day. And what I'm gonna do now is wash it so that way it dries. And tomorrow I'm sanding. Definitely gonna go and sand this by hand. Sand the whole door um, and paint. And I'm washing it so that I can get rid of um, all the residue. from the chemical Whew. so some of you are probably wondering what color am I going to do right? well we're in disagreement <laughs> um, I wanted to do the same turquoise blue that's on the uh, cushions on the front porch because I thought it was kind of young and happy as a color but Scott has a point I have to admit that we have a uh, really nice red on the back that looks very good with the ground and I believe it's bare red wine um, and I believe I have some left over downstairs so why go and spend money right um, so it's going to be the same color than the back. We're going to do it in red wine and it looks really good against the brown. So I'm not, you know, I always wanted a red door anyway. So that's perfect. And this is what the door looks like once it's been stripped. And I tell you, it took forever and I really worked hard. Now, the great thing about it is because there were so many coats of paint, you couldn't even see that there's a very nice molding. In addition to the uh, panels here, uh, it's like beveled once, twice, and then a dip. It's really, really nice. So I'm hoping that with the darker color on it, um, it's gonna look pretty good with the knocker and everything put back together. So again, this I'll finish off tomorrow with the sander. And even if it's not super well done, that's okay. This, this is the surface I want to have really, really smooth because that's where the paint is going to go. And I'm thinking of doing this area here in white, just like the back door, and then the rest in red. So that's about it for today. I'm wiped out. So now what I'm going to do is uh, clean up this area. I have to uh, sweep everything because I have, you know, bits and pieces. Um, my fingers are killing me, especially this one from holding the um, um, scraper. And Scott is going to reinstall the American flag on the front porch the way we used to have it. I'm going to take a shower and guess what? I've changed my mind. I'm going to the pool. After five years, yes, I'm going to the pool. So I'm going to have a good time. Edward is at work. Willie's going to come with us. Um, I'm going to dive, do all sorts of crazy stuff and relax by the pool tomorrow in the next video. I'll come back and I will sand, prime, and paint. I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching, you guys. Bye. Hey, it's me, and guess what? Click that thumbs up if you really like this video. Thumbs down twice if you didn't. You can also share my video if you really, really liked it, or save it to watch later. Also, you can subscribe to my channel. But don't forget to click that bell button so you are always notified when I post a new video. Thank you for watching!